Oh, look what my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. That's so cute. Anyway, welcome to the Johnny Cakes YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be making wait, a- Wait, 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 hmm? you have a boyfriend? Yep. What's his name? Uh, Garfinkel. Garfinkel? Mm -hmm. Garfinkel what? Dramamine. <laughs> yep, Garfinkel Dramamine. He's so hot. How long have you guys been together? Five year. But I might have to change my name to Johnny Cakes Dramamine after we get married. Doesn't have the same ring. No, and I'd have to change the name of my YouTube channel, so. But I do that for Garfinkel. Anyway, if you're single, that's fine too. Today I'm making a cake for all of the sad single people. So today we're making a cake for all of those loners out there, the painfully single, if you will. Um, it's a pretty traditional cake. It's gonna be a layered cake that's strawberry flavored, which is my favorite. Uh, with whipped Swiss meringue buttercream and then some gaudy decorations. And of course, we're gonna add painfully single on the outside. Now this is a tutorial cake, so you can follow along at home and make it yourself. I'd love to see photos if you do that. Um, and I'll put the recipes and links to all of my tools and ingredients below in the description. Ah! So with that, let's get caking. First step, we have to stack and frost the cake. So I'm using strawberry cake layers. And then I am obviously frosting it with a luscious Swiss meringue buttercream in between each layer. Let's apply a dollop of buttercream to the cake board. This will secure the cake in place. Beautiful strawberry cake. I love working with frozen cake layers. It makes it so much easier to frost, you wouldn't believe. We're just gonna keep stacking and frosting. Making this cake reminds me of a time before I had a, a man in my life when I was single. Before Garfinkel. Oh, Garfinkel, Dramamine, you are the man for me. I hope we live happily in a matrimony. <laughs> you can unsubscribe now. So I've spent a lot of my life <laughs> as a single man. I tell this story about this one uh, like a little hookup experience I had where I <laughs> I was like seeing this guy like pretty regularly like he lived an hour away and he, so he'd come visit every like you know month or so and stay the weekend he was leaving after one weekend and I was like saying goodbye to him at my door and I knew I wouldn't see him for a month or so so I went in for a kiss and he went in for a, a hug a, like a side hug <laughs> this is happening very quickly in real life but in uber slow motion for me my lips hit the side of his face because he went in for like this weird side hug. They hit, they dragged down the side of his face as I pulled away. I was humiliated. Oh, time to say, no. And so I was like, oh my God, say something, say something. Like, just say something to get yourself out of this painfully awkward situation. And all I could think to say was, oh, this world. And I said it like that too, which is weird. And he was like, what? And I was like, right, like, no, I don't know. And I was like, say something else, say something else. Like, just like say something that, to explain why you said such a stupid thing. And so all I could think to say for that was, isn't it fun to be young? And he was like, what? And I was like, no, I don't know what that even means. Like, he was like, okay, bye. And then he left and I slammed the door behind him, fell to the ground and started screaming. And he definitely heard me screaming because he had just exited. But now I have Garfinkel and I'm so much happier. <laughs> so we're just applying like a real rough crumb coat. I'm not being very neat today, but that's okay because it's crumb coat. The crumb coat. Garfinkel Dramamine. When I'm seasick, he goes into me. <laughs> anyway, when you're done with the crumb coat, you just pop it in the freezer and let it chill for a minute. So now that we did the crumb coat, we're gonna move on to the final coat, which is pink. <laughs> Come on, that's fun. All right, big glob, ready? <laughs> that's not sanitary, but I don't give a <laughs> I mean, if I was like a baker in a cafe or a bakery, I would care. Anyway, <laughs> so this is just the final coat of pink luscious buttercream. Not Garfinkel Dram, I mean, it's such a stupid thing because it's so not a name. All right, now we're gonna take a bench scraper and scrape away the excess. 
So I'm trying to keep my bench scraper about 45 degrees off of the cake. So it's not like this and it's not like this. It's like that. I wasn't getting the sharp edges I wanted, so I'm applying a second coat, a second final coat. That's always cool too. Just make sure you chill in between each coat. All right, now that we're done with the final coat, we're gonna pipe on all the details and make it really gaudy. Ooh, gaudy. Let me show you how I fill piping bags, okay? We start with the piping bag and we insert whatever tip we want to use inside of it. Easy. Then we cut an opening. I'm gonna drop this in a cup, wrap it over the edges, and fill it with whatever color I need. I'm heating up the buttercream just by kind of mixing it vigorously. This will make for an easier piping consistency. All right, now I'm gonna fill this bag up. We're gonna move all the frosting down, twist the end, and let's give it a test. Perfect. My tips for piping. You are going to use your dominant hand and have a secure twisted piping bag in that hand. And then your non-dominant hand, your stupid hand, you're gonna be holding the uh, turntable with and you evenly are going to be spinning the turntable as you go. All right, fun little trick. I took a piece of scotch tape and covered half the opening of this glass. I'm gonna use the bottom half as sort of a template for my next rope of piping. So now I'm gonna follow that line and pipe some more. So we're just doing a wavy little doily top to this, adding a little dimension to the top of the cake. And now we're gonna pipe on another rope of red. Fun fact, Garfinkel's favorite color, blue. I'm gonna add a little rope of red around the top. Again, you can't go wrong, just keep adding. It's never gaudy enough. I'm gonna add teeny little flowers to each of these little tips. Oh, come on, that's cute as shit. Now to take it one step further, I bought this rather expensive mix of uh, Valentine's themed sprinkles, and we're just gonna sprinkle around the top, because I'm worth it. As far as I'm concerned, you can't really take this cake too far. What do you guys think? The last thing we need to do is add our text. I'm gonna choose the phrase painfully single, but you can write happily in love, married at last, I am not single, you loser. Whatever you think is best. So we're gonna roll out some pink fondant, really, really thin. And then I found these really cute letter cutters online. We're gonna let the letters dry for, oh, about two hours, just so they're not so like, you know, pliable. They're a little stiffer. And we'll apply them to the front of the cake. Well, there you have it. A beautiful, painfully single cake for all you singles out there. I'm so sorry, Garfinkel and I send our love and maybe next year you'll have um, a Valentine. Garfinkel isn't real. <laughs> You're right, he's not. <laughs>